what this is all about in political terms is the empowerment of direct experience. We all are sold a bill of goods. Maybe you remember the Bob Dylan song where he says, it is not he or she or them or it that you belong to. This is what psychedelics teach you. We're not going to learn it from Der Spiegel, from Time magazine. It doesn't come like that. Direct experience, your experience, your opinion, your feelings, your sexuality is the only real thing in your universe. Don't transfer loyalty to ideology, to money, to party, to friends. All of these things are outside of the core of your reality. And centuries of programming have been laid on to all of us to take away the power of our own direct experience. This is why psychedelics are illegal. They don't care whether people jump out of windows or any of that. They're not interested in public health. They do not want people to take back their minds. Yeah. And we're going to take back our minds soon. The sooner the better. That's really, to my mind, the bottom line. That's why this thing has potential world consequences because an empowered individual in touch with their own existential core can do what that guy did with the 18 tanks. It was an idea that stopped the tanks, and it was an idea expressed not over state radio, not through the newspapers, but by one person taking a stand. You know, a great American philosopher, and I hope it was Emerson, said... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was Emerson, <laughs> said, if you are right, you are a majority of one. You are a majority of one. And this is what we all need to realize. We are responsible for ourselves, and we will set the agenda for the human future. The mushrooms once said to me, you must have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you will become part of somebody else's plan.